Today I'm going to show you the new video controller component that you'll be seeing coming in release 11. As we move to the uh, to the mobile environment, video becomes more and more important and we wanted to make sure that we wrapped uh, HTML5 and uh, and flash video in one controller to make this really simple for you to use both on the desktop and on a mobile device like the iPad or the iPhone. So this is the uh, the video controller and, and with it you can add a hybrid HTML5 and flash video player. Uh, you've, you've got the fallback capability if the device is HTML5 it will support HTML5 video if not it will fall back to flash or you can do it the other way if it supports flash uh, then uh, it will play flash other uh, and other devices uh, say like the iPad would play HTML5 and you don't even have to think about it. it we've made it that simple for you to do it. Now typically you'd use the video controller uh, where you set up exactly you know what type of uh, containers you want to use and formatting and then you'd link it typically to a grid maybe you'd have a button in a grid component and in that uh, grid may be a field that holds a URL or multiple URLs for uh, videos so let's take a look at this uh, the new video controller options so there's two things you can do here with the controller type you can have a, uh, a YouTube video controller and this is really cool because what this does is it uses a the OEmbed API that YouTube supports, which means the only thing I need is a URL. Um, and then we, what we do is we make a callback when we call uh, YouTube, and YouTube hands back a whole container that either is going to be HTML5 if you're on an iPad, or it'll be Flash video if you're on uh, any device that supports Flash. So. Uh, you can also pick an HTML5 flash video controller uh, and this would be if you wanted to host your own uh, videos maybe you their proprietary corporate videos or what have you you don't want them publicly available on YouTube but let's go ahead and just start out with the YouTube video controller and we can we have an option here to show the video title yes or no uh, there's a default uh, URL and this will we'll sh look at this just momentarily and then we also have the option of controlling the aspect ratio 16 9 is widescreen 4 to 3 is uh, is is just normal uh, video and you can also specify the container width and height if you choose if you'd like uh, if you don't specify in this case it'll just use the uh, container uh, width and height that's supplied by YouTube and uh, you can also choose an option to center the component in the container so let's just take a quick look at uh, working preview here and so here we've now it's made a callback to YouTube YouTube has sent us a container with the uh, the video that was specified in the default URL and uh, let's just go ahead and play this Time from your telephone company is 9.33. You can go full screen if you want. In business and in life, you either adapt or die. You evolve to meet customer needs or get left behind. So it's really that simple to embed a YouTube uh, a video. So you really just need a uh, URL on YouTube, find a video you like, or it could be your corporate videos or whatever. All we need is the URL. So when we take a look at the arguments here, you can see it's video underbar URL. There is a default value, but this is what you would bind to a field that's in the uh, that's in the grid component. So let's go actually take a look at using one of these uh, video controllers uh, within a component. So what I have here is I have a, uh, a contacts list and let's just take a quick look at my list of contacts and you'll notice uh, within my contacts I have some kind of famous guys. There's David Gilmore and there's going to be some great videos I know of David and uh, Jimmy Page is here and Robert Plant. 
uh, Mario Andretti so I, and Roger Waters. So I, I got a whole bunch of interesting uh, contacts. So uh, what I've done here is uh, you'll notice there is a, a field and it's YouTube underbar video underbar URL. It's hidden right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to add in a button and then we'll look at that field and if there's something there we're going to go ahead and embed a uh, one of the new video con controllers. So let's go ahead and uh, just insert. Uh, we're going to insert an image and in this case I want to uh, insert um, I'm going to go ahead and just basically we're going to add a condition that says always so we just say one equals one. We're going to say always display this particular image because I'm not using uh, multiple images in this case. And uh, let's go ahead and grab. So I want to use that particular image there. Say OK. That's all set. And now what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to have a show hide expression here. Uh, and what I want to say is that uh, we'll insert this field, which is our YouTube video URL. And uh, as long as it's not an empty string, we gonna we do want to go ahead and and show that button. So if we go into uh, working preview here, so we'll see our button. Now, I don't like it when the button doesn't react when I when I mouse over it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, another image. This is kind of a, a neat little trick that's a, something good for you to know about. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go to the uh, on mouse over JavaScript event, and we're going to go ahead and add a new action. Here we're just going to drop in some JavaScript. And really simply, what we're going to do is, uh, when we mouse over, we're going to switch out the source uh, for the image. Uh, we don't need anything there. And I'll go ahead and save that. And then, of course, when we mouse out of it, we want to switch it back to the, uh, the image that we had. So let's go ahead and drop some more JavaScript in there. This is just a nice technique for uh, making your images that you're using like buttons to uh, react when the when the user mouses over them and, and does something so all you need to do is do this dot SRC and then change it change it to whatever uh, image you want let's go ahead and save that and now we see the image changes and it highlights and if we look down the list we can see okay yeah we've got a bunch of these different videos uh, that are part of my uh, contacts. Now of course we haven't done we haven't bound a click event there so nothing's going to happen just yet. So let's go into the on click event and add a new action. In this case now what we want to do is open a video controller component. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick one that I've set up that's just a YouTube uh, controller. So uh, that's this video controller here. And the only thing we really need to do is is to uh, bind this video URL argument. So let's set that to uh, the YouTube video URL. Go ahead, say OK. That looks good. Uh, in this case, we're going to bring up a uh, modal window. Um, I'm going to change this height a little bit. So let's say we're going to make it like uh, 660. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to make it uh, 400 pixels in height. And oops, if I could type that, would be really good. And then I'm going to go do the the width at uh, 660 pixels. That'll that'll work well. I don't want the window to be resizable, and I don't want the window to move. Those are just a couple of little tips on using the YouTube videos. Uh, you can move around the window as much as you like if you want to do it this way with uh, HTML5 video, but not with the YouTube controller, just from some testing that I've done. Uh, so that's OK. Let's go ahead and save that. And now let's go take a look at, well, just look at live preview so that all our buttons look good and everything. And when we click on the button, We'll see a video come in, 
And let's go ahead and play that. Now this video is in, this is actually flash because in this case we're using live preview and live previews running in uh, Internet Explorer which doesn't support HTML5. Uh, so this comes through as flash. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that on out and sure enough we could go down and let's see uh, Mario Andretti's here and uh, there, well, here's a video for Mario Mike, there too. And we can switch this to a uh, high def if we want. Don't forget, we, we drove together on this team, uh, Michael and I, for four years we competed against each other. So to have that much fun with your son is, is a rare privilege. It was very, very, very special. We can go full screen. Uh, you get the idea. Now, notice that I'm going to leave this video playing. I'm going to close it out. So now I'm going to close this uh, the window. And now there's a bit of a problem as the video is still playing. So this is an issue. So now what do we do? So first thing we got to do is figure out how to turn that off, right? Let's go back to a uh, live preview. That'll certainly turn off the audio. Um, so here what you have to do is there is a method that's supported by the uh, video controller, and that is the clear video. So uh, what we're going to do in here is edit this action, and we're going to go to our window JavaScript events, and on hide, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to insert a placeholder. In this case, it is the uh, child object, the grid uh, child object. We're going to insert that. And from here, we're just going to call the, um, it's the clear video method of the uh, uh, video controller. So that's one of the methods you need to know about. And now when you go ahead and run this, go ahead and save that. When you close that window, uh, it will um, clear out the, uh, the video and we won't have that issue. Go ahead and click it now. And now you the videos uh, cleared out. So that's just a quick overview of the uh, new um, video controller uh, using YouTube videos and in my next presentation I'll show you uh, how to use uh, HTML5 video. I hope you enjoyed that.